Hello, I'm Christina from The Turned Leg. I love to salvage, repurpose, and create and help others to do the same. Today I'm at my booth at Plaza Antiques and Collectibles Mall in Lincoln Park, Michigan. I have grown my booth space to now over 1,300 square feet. And if you look, I really only have the exterior walls. My booth does not have any other walls except the displays I have built. And I'm always trying to add a little bit more character to my space. Today I'm going to be using salvage materials to just add some interest to my booth and to give me more room to hang stuff. I was recently asked by another booth owner, Christina, why don't you build your walls and stuff in your booth with wood? Why do you always use salvage? Well, two reasons. One, I'm not really good at building walls with wood. I haven't done it that much, but what I have done a lot of is building with salvage. I also have a lot of salvage and it's free. Plus, the whole motto of my business is salvage, repurpose, and create. So I think I'm kind of living what I'm saying. I hope you'll learn a lot and maybe get some inspiration with what I'm gonna show you. But first, we gotta clear this area out. I think it's important to first take a look at the area. This is my project shop, and I also had pieces of furniture that people could purchase here and rework. I found the furniture still sells better if it's in a prettier display and not in this area. So I'm gonna change the left-hand side to a prettier display, keep the salvage area to the right. The space also just has pegboard, and I have really high ceilings in this area. My goal has been lately to really try to use the vertical space as much as possible. And so this dead area up here above the pegboard, I want to change it up a bit and get some interest. You can see to the right of the area that I'm working, there was a platform built that has some items up above. And I kind of want to look like that, but I'm not going to build it out of wood. Here's the other side of that area and you can see the small wall. I wanted to do something a little different. Obviously I have to clear the space and remove everything that's in the way before I get started. One great item that a lot of booth owners love to use are old ladders in their space. They give you the height, you can put items above, you can also hang things down. And usually you can find them really inexpensive. I was very lucky to find two ladders exactly the sizes I need curbside for free lately. So that's what's inspired this project. I also went through Plaza Antiques and Collectibles Mall to get ideas on how to attach the ladders to my space. And I found this ladder set up that gave me a lot of inspiration. Sometimes the best inspiration comes from other booths. If you want more booth inspiration, I have a lot of videos on this channel. This is one that you can check out to get more inspiration on what you can do in your booth. Some important tools I'm using for this project are a stud finder. You really want to make sure if you're hanging anything in your booth that you get things into the stud to make them as steady as possible. I also have a level to make sure that things are level and plumb. The basis of this whole project will be two ladders and I also measured the space to make sure that the ladders will fit the area I need. If you're using vintage ladders, make sure you inspect them to make sure they'll be sturdy enough for your project. I've also cut some scrap pieces of wood into 16 inch pieces and these will be used underneath my ladder to secure it in place with very large L brackets. Now I'm just moving the ladders into place. You'll notice I've turned off the electricity in my area just to be on the safe side. I'm going to stand up the eight foot ladder in place first. It will be the vertical support and my initial intent was to secure it right into a stud that was in the wall behind the pegboard. But I decided for a little extra support that I would first attach a one by three and then attach the ladder right to that. 
For this project, I'm using drywall screws. They work best for me, one and a half inch and two inch, depending on what I need. The next step was the trickiest, and I have to say I wasn't really sure how I would do this. I had to get the ladder kind of up in place just to kind of get an idea of how I would be doing the next steps. I was hoping I could do exactly what I did, which is just slightly secure it. You'll see I've also put a one by three up against the wall before I attach the ladder. Now, obviously, this is not super secure. I'm going to build additional supports, but I was hoping I could do this and then build the supports so the ladder would not be too heavy because I wasn't sure with all of the extra wood and L brackets, I'd be able to lift it. Just a little pro tip, if you're working with one by threes, always a good idea to pre-drill those holes so your boards don't split. I had it happen and I completely forgot to pre-drill, so I learned from doing it the wrong way. Hopefully it'll save you from having the same problem. The next step was literally to just attach those 16 inch boards right to the ladder where I felt I needed extra support and then to attach the L bracket to the board and to the wall. This made it extremely sturdy. I also secured the ladder into the half wall kind of shelf area that's to the right to give it more stability. And now for the fun part, I got to make things pretty. It's always fun when you redo an area because you can fix any things that were bugging you. One of the things was the large plug strip. I moved it to the right of the vertical ladder so you couldn't see it as much. I'm also hanging the lights from the top so you won't see as many wires, which can be distracting. So salvage area is going together first. Now I have a nice spot too to hang my ladders for sale in that space so they'll take up less floor space. We're going to get to the big reveal in just a moment, but I want to just forewarn you, some of you might say, well, that was a lot of work for not much. It doesn't really look like that much, but it really helped me. This was an area of my booth that had been completely bugging me for the longest time. I also really like to add some salvage, a little bit more character to my booth, and I also can use the vertical space to hang and put items up. I still need to find a whole bunch more items to put up, maybe even add some additional light, but I highly recommend, I really encourage you, if there's something in your booth that is bugging you, driving you crazy, do whatever you can to make it pretty because you should love your space. If you are a booth owner or you're interested in becoming a booth owner, I also want to let you know I have a private booth owners group on Facebook and the membership is now open. So I'll put all the information in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Now let's take a look at how this booth turned out. It's amazing how just moving around a few items in your booth to a new location can give it a whole new look. I am loving my new space. I hope you are too. I hope it's inspired you. Now get out there to salvage, repurpose, and create.